We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Cavante Turpin now from his end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Now a second and six. Now Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. On third down, it's Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a give here to Pollard. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 38 now, here's a second down and four. Now Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. Down the left sideline. And he's going to be out of bounds here, all the way down inside the 10. A big play there on the catch and run, 56 yards. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line. Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. Pollard will take it up the gut, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Pollard one more time. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Driven him down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Can this defense get the stop on the opening drive? Here's third and goal. They'll try to run with Pollard. And he'll take this one down inside the five to the three. It's about a three yard pickup there, but more importantly, they're still a few yards away here. It's now fourth down and goal. So a decision to be made, is this something, you know, opening drive maybe they discussed before the game? They had to, and that's the responsible way of getting ready for a game. You go through situations with your staff, you go through scenarios, and you read your team. If we're in this spot and we're moving the ball well, is this a time to go for it? Or is it a time to be a little bit cautious? I think in this case, he feels good about his team. He should go for it. 
Prescott to throw on fourth. Touchdown! Brandon Cooks from three yards out. And the Cowboys go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Well, look at this. They got the 7-0 lead in the pocket, and they're going to try an onside kick. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. they got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried. They just didn't get it done. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Hurts sets up to throw it. And he whips that one incomplete there. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. They'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Penny. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try to run for it with Penny. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. They'll run with Penny. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. Rashad Penny unable to get there. And the Cowboys defense is going to get him the football back. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Go, go, go. 
Following the delay, here's second and nine. Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And Gallup goes in motion. A second down throw for Prescott. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A first down throw for Prescott. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 13 yard line. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. Zone coverage, so he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect it. So he can react to everything in front of him, and he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing his hurts. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 79 yards. And the Eagles are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Elliott good on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. 
And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they've got just over 50 seconds to go till halftime, so they can try to put something together if they want. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. A second down throw for Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. There again is Cooks, complete. And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 45. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Prescott on first down. He gets it to Cooks. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and six now. Prescott yet again. Able to hit his target win. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. First down, Prescott. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Room to maneuver at the 35, and he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. To the air again, Prescott. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Oh, and that is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's second and 10. To throw is Prescott. According to the headlines, but incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. But what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing. Prescott. Intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. And this one is right down Broadway. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. 
So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. offense sent to begin their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Once again, it's Swift. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Here's Hurts to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Two yards on the pickup there. And it'll be second down. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Here's Swift. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up the three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. One more time with Swift. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So we're back to even after the short field goal. CD, you like the decision to kick it there? Well, I'm glad you asked me if I like it and didn't ask me if I love it, because I'm not even sure I like it, but I do get it. First job on this drive, tie the game. They did that. But now they've got to put a challenge to their offense and say, can't settle for three anymore, guys. We've got to get the ball in the end zone from here on out. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
And their three-point halftime lead gone now, back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. So from the 26 yard line, here's second and three. Gonna run again here with Pollard. And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And they're gonna hurry back to the line now. Trying to run for with Pollard. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 60 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Out of the gun again to Pollard. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw there, caught by Gallup. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Prescott now. The short one there, taken in by Ferguson. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys! Jake Ferguson, 30 yards. And the Cowboys have broken our tie and have taken a fourth so still time remaining here in this fourth quarter, but the touchdown there puts them back out in front. And you and I both know that their defense will not very subtly remind everyone that they started all of this because they held firm on the last drive and only gave up a field goal. Gave it back to the offense in a tie game and said, okay, your turn now, make something happen. And they went down the field and scored. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they can afford to go without. But the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift, 52 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Sometimes running plays hit or break so fast, there's no reaction time from the secondary. So I've got to give credit to the offensive line for creating that hole so suddenly. And how decisive was he to take that cut and just go? No one downfield there to stop him. Elliott on for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line.
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. On first and ten, Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down as he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It'll be a handoff to Potter. And then the mover is way forward for about four. Second and six. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes. Or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Second and six coming up. Second down, Pollard again. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Short game, short game, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense, they're saying go right ahead with those. Plenty of time, all three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Here's Pollard again. And pretty good pursuit there defensively. He's brought down, no gain on the play. Second down coming up. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Here's Dak. Open man, the tight end, Luke Schoonmaker. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 38-yard line. Now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. This is first and 10. Now a give here to Pollard. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's second down. Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Lamb. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. The partner a tie game in the fourth quarter. You and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and 10. They'll run left with Potter. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. To throw, Prescott. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Well, the elements, the crowd, the situation, this is NFL football at its best. Here's third down. 
The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And here's another kneel down as he'll try to set up the game winner. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. Footing obviously an issue in the driving rain. This one for the win. And his kick is good. Despite the rainstorm, a good snap, a good hold, and the kick went through. And it'll be a good time in Big D tonight. The Cowboys have won it. Well, we all just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome's in doubt for much of this game. Every snap 